I have been listening, Jack. And so far, you haven't given me one good reason not to tell Roger to call the police. I've given you 25. And every last one of them ends with Betty Sherman. Now, face it, Finelli. You're dealing with feeling, not with fact. It's not true, Doctor. Look, I'm not out to get anyone, but I do have a responsibility to this hospital. You mean you're running for chief of staff? Oh, that's not fair, Jack. Well, it's a lot more fair than what's happening to Betty Sherman. Really? Can you prove that she's innocent? Yeah. Yeah, if you give me the time. Jack. Can you prove she's guilty? No. Well, I can prove she's innocent. You just give me a couple of days. Jack, you're a great guy. But are you sure that you know her well enough to go out on a limb for her? I believe in it. Well, you're taking a chance. I mean, we're talking medical professionals betraying a position of trust, and to me, that's a crime. It's worse than a crime. It's an evil. Gloria, if you feel that strongly about... I do! All right, then work with me. I'm telling you that I think I can get to the bottom of this without causing a major scandal. For whom? The hospital or Betty? I like Betty Sherman. A lot. But not in the way you seem to think I do. All right. All right. What do you want to do? Do you want me to conduct an internal investigation? All right, sort of. Look, I will use my contacts on the ambulance staff to dig around. You have access to the personal files. W but what am I looking for? Okay. You're looking for anybody on the staff who's had a drug problem in the past or now. All right. But there has to be a time limit to this. If we don't come up with something solid by Friday, then I have to go to the authorities. Okay, okay. Oh, one more thing. Um... Don't say anything to Roger. Why? Do you think he's involved? I don't know what I think. But I only know the fewer people who know about this now, the better. All right. You know, Jack, I'm doing this for you. So if Betty Sherman is involved, I just pray that you don't get into trouble with her. should see Jillian alone. You're staying home? By the phone. Not that one. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be scrubbing and waxing. I, I'm going to have to ask you to leave the kitchen for a good hour. Probably more. <laughs> it doesn't take that long. Mama, I may be new at this, but I'm going to do it right even if it kills me. It probably will. <laughs> okay. You're really something. Maybe I did misjudge you. No problem. Almost everybody does. Oh. I'm sorry, sir. I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you Just to leave. Get out of my way, will you, lady? Look, I our men's room is reserved for our customers only, and uh, in I'm not of looking for the men's room. Healing. I'm just trying to find my wife, lady, okay? Frank, what happened? She's gone. Gone? What do you mean? She's gone. She's not here. She's left. You got that? Uh, I think it's time that we have a talk with Frank. Look, I don't want to talk. I just want to find Jill. Frank, okay. you are in no condition to see Jill right Look, now. Look, don't tell me what kind of condition I'm in, all right? What were you planning on telling me, huh? After the whole family come down here Frank, and their Frank. respects to Jill and her boyfriend? Frank! She's sick. What do you mean she's sick? What's the matter with her? We don't know exactly, but it's 
some sort of amnesia. What? She doesn't know us, and she probably won't know you. Oh, come on, Patty. Come on. This is why we didn't call you any sooner, because we knew you would react this way. What happened to her? Well, apparently there was some kind of accident. She talked to us, and there was no sign of recognition. An accident? She'll know me. And if she doesn't, what are you going to do? Well, I'll just sit her down, and I'll make her understand, that's all. I don't think that's a very good idea. Frank, you can't. If you push her right now, you may lose her forever. I don't believe that, Patty. You want to take that chance? I'm not going to hurt her. I love her. Frank, are you sure you can handle this? Look, I won't make a scene, all right? I've just got to find her. I just want to see her. That's all I want to do. Now, don't, just don't try to... Tonight, Mark... Seattle Seahawks tangle with the San Francisco 49ers on ABC's NFL Monday Night Football. This is Steve Bell. The espionage epidemic, an increase in spies, or are we catching more? Tomorrow on ABC's World News This Morning, before Good Morning America. What can be done to clean up big-time college sports? This is David Hartman. Tomorrow morning, we'll talk about it. Also, Joe Theismann and the Forrester Sisters. And Julia Child shows us how to cook a Thanksgiving turkey on Good Morning America. Can Jim save Sheena from the evil Jonathan? Stay tuned for Loving, next on ABC.